Welcome to the announcement of the 2012 100 Best Communities for Young People, presented by ING. Live from the museum's night studio in Washington, D.C. All right, now that's the way we want to get started here. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us for the announcement of the 2012 100 Best Communities for Young People presented by ING. I'm Leon Harris from ABC 7 News in Washington, and today we're going to take you around the country to celebrate some amazing communities who are working to give young people a chance to live, to learn, and to thrive. The 100 Best are changing the lives of youth by giving them support and mentorship, safer schools, and chances to be leaders in their communities. And these communities are working to end the dropout crisis that threatens our nation's future. Now, before we start, we want to be sure and join the celebration on Twitter today. You can do that by using hashtag pound 100 best 2012, or you can join us on Facebook as well. All right, so let's get the celebration started now with the first group of winners. Here are the winners from the West. From the Western region, in Alaska, Anchorage, in Hawaii, Honolulu, in Washington, Battleground, Bellevue, Lakewood, Prosser, in Oregon, Portland and Multnomah County. In California, Alameda, Chino, Chino Hill, Indio, Marina, Sacramento County, Solano County, Windsor Unified School District. In Arizona, Flagstaff, Scottsdale. In Utah, South Salt Lake In Idaho Meridian In Montana Missoula In Wyoming Pinedale In Colorado Aurora Brighton Montrose County In New Mexico Los Alamos County All right. <laughs> so now let's take a live look at a watch party underway right now in Indio, California. They are celebrating their second win. Now, these parties are happening all over the country today, so congratulations to them. Uh, now let's talk with <laughs> Glenn Miller, who is the mayor of Indio. Uh, mayor Miller, are you there? Yes, I am. There you go. Good to see you. Uh, first of all, congratulations. Now, tell us here about what this has meant to your community to be one of the 100 best over the last year. And, uh, by the way, congrats on being chosen again. Well, well thank you. We're just blessed to have uh, a great population of youth. It means the world to us. Our school districts, our youth are, are here. They are what are going to drive our future, and they, as you can see behind us, are excited as we are to be able to be named one of the 100 best communities. And uh, our youth are going to drive the rest of our, our valley out here, and uh, we're just excited to be a part of this. Well, we're excited to, congr to congratulate you and inspire and uh, hope that you continue doing this kind of work. But tell me, you're, you're, you're repeat winners now. What is it that you, you think makes Indio so unique and makes that possible? What makes uh, Indio so unique is our, is our students, is our, is our school district, is our city. We work as a team. We are a community that is driven together to make the best of our, our situations. And our kids and that are what's driving us. A Desert Unified School District that we have out here is an excellent group of teachers and mentors for our kids. And our city really gets involved from our residents to our city staff to our council to make sure that we give them all the tools to get the advantage to have the best education because they are going to be our future leaders. And we're looking for the next president in this group. Ah, ah, and we're looking forward to see you produce that. So thank you so much. Congratulations, Indio Mayor Glenn Miller. Thank you, and thank you All for All right, having me. nice going. <laughs> 
Now, we're going to be dropping in on a few more celebrations like that one later on. But uh, now, let's hear a bit more about what makes this program and its winners so special. Please join me now in welcoming the chair of America's Promise Alliance, Mrs. Alma Powell. Thank you, Leon. And thank you all for joining us today as we call out the honor roll of this year's 100 Best Communities for Young People. I'd like to briefly recognize the mayors and the elected officials, superintendents and school administrators, parents, and especially the students that are with us today. You are all important parts of this critical work, and we thank you for being here today. And I especially want to thank ING, our partner and presenting sponsor of one of the 100 best, of, of the 100 best. And most of all, to those of you who are here representing your winning communities and for the many more who are watching back home, thank you for your commitment to the young people who represent our common future. We're here today to recognize the work of 100 different communities that reflect the amazing diversity of America. They come from every corner of this nation. They come from large cities and small towns. 19 of them have earned a spot on this list for six years in a row, setting a very high bar for those that wish to follow. And that's what makes it so impressive that 18 communities are first time winners that stepped up to claim a spot on this elite list. But they all have one thing in common, they invested their time, their energy, and their resources to build a stronger future for their young people. Being one of the 100 best does not mean that these communities are perfect. It doesn't mean that they don't face challenges. It means that they face up to their challenges together and are working together with a common commitment and determination. This spirit of community that we honor in 100 localities is also the spirit that makes America great as a nation. It's the spirit that must reinvigorate in all American communities if we're going to become a grad nation. And that way, ensure our future as a great nation. And so today, we are here to celebrate 100 shining examples of what is best about our country. Truly, these are cities on a hill, communities whose light cannot be hidden and must be shared. They show the way toward a future that is worthy of our greatest ideals. It is a future we hope will be the inheritance of every American child. We thank all of you for your efforts. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mrs. Powell. We appreciate everything you're doing to make this happen. Now, let's meet the winners from the Central Region. From the Central Region in North Dakota, Grand Forks, in Nebraska, Boys Town, in Kansas, Kansas City, in Oklahoma, Oklahoma City, in Texas, Frisco Independent School District, Lubbock, McKinney, St. John Community School Alliance, in Missouri, Columbia, in Iowa, Dubuque, Lamoni, in Minnesota, Edina, Northfield, St. Louis Park. In Wisconsin, Waukesha. In Indiana, Floyd County. In Michigan, Greater Midland, Kalamazoo. In Ohio, Cincinnati, Hudson, Medina, Norwood. In Kentucky, Barron County, Lexington, Louisville, Mount Sterling, and Montgomery County.
All right, now, let's take a look at the party underway at the United Spirit Arena in Lubbock, Texas. Look at that. <laughs> Quite a crowd there. And we're joined, as you can see there, by Lubbock Mayor Glenn Robertson. Mayor Robertson, good to see you. <laughs> You've got a rather spirited group there with you today to celebrate. That's good to see. Now, I'm going to venture a, a guess in, uh, that I'm the only one here who's actually been to Lubbock. So... I actually know a little bit about the town, but I want you to tell folks about why Lubbock is one of the best communities for young people. You know, it's, it's really pretty simple. It's a cooperative effort between our city, our city schools, uh, our people. Uh, you talk to people in West Texas, you're going to find out that, that you've got the friendliest people in the world in West Texas. And the one thing we always hear is this is a great place to raise a family. I've raised... Uh, five children here and I've got six grandkids here being raised right now and, and we're just extremely fortunate to live in Lubbock. Well you're setting a great example that's for sure but you've got a very unique program I want to hear more about it's called expectation graduation tell us about how that's working to keep kids in school. You know this is a completely volunteer effort that uh, was spearheaded by our independent school district. We'll get uh, city uh, school employees along with volunteers they'll take a Saturday morning early in September when school has just started uh, they will focus on potential high school dropouts, people that we're concerned uh, that we're losing from our school system. And they will literally go door to door, knocking on doors, finding out uh, why have we lost this child? What do we need to do to get this child back in school? What do we need to do to, to get them to graduate and become a, a part of our community? Well, Mayor, we thank you so much and congratulate you as well for your win. And uh, we'll keep an eye on those Red Raiders for you. All right? Thank you very Way much. Way to go, Lubbock. <laughs> All right, now. And with that, now we are halfway through unveiling this year's 100 Best. But now let's pause for a moment to meet the first of this year's special honorees. Each year, two special awards are given to recognize extraordinary and inspiring stories. One to a local program doing great work to prevent dropouts, and one to a young person who wrote an outstanding essay on how their community has helped them to reach their potential. Each will receive a $2,500 special award today. Now, here's the story of this year's youth scholarship winner, Kyle Harris. I would definitely describe AJ as one of the most caring people I've ever met in my life. I was downstairs watching TV when my sister just, at the top of her lungs, just yelled from upstairs saying, AJ is dead, AJ is dead. It was terrible, it was absolutely terrible. Almost every day it felt like we just walk into the classroom and it was time to sign another card. Time to say we're sorry for your loss. Time to say we're here if you need anything. A walk to stop came to me when we were in class and we were signing another card and I just remember thinking what possibly can we do. I started by contacting other schools in our local area. We went to different schools, asked them about their experiences with suicide. They all, all said the same thing. We want to make a difference, we just don't know how. Last February at a walk to stop, we had just over 200 people show out, and so it was a great turnout, more than we expected. We started right here at the school, and they did a quick loop around town, and then they came back to the school over by the track where they walked there for an hour, or ran, jogged, did whatever they wanted to do, and just supported the cause. We made sure that everybody who showed up walked out with information on how to tell if somebody's thinking about suicide, how to help somebody if they're thinking about suicide, and we gave out hotline numbers, and so I feel like just by doing that, if somebody has that number in their wallet or in their purse, if just one person has it and just one person makes a difference, then my job's done. Can your reaction to Kyle's walk was incredible. Kyle was the voice when everybody else was afraid to say, hey, we've got a problem. Kyle gave the city that voice to say it's okay to talk about this. Let us start this conversation. She is very special. She does have the drive, the motivation, and the skills to make a big impact. For the kids out there that are thinking about suicide, I just want them to know that there is help and hope for a better tomorrow.
That's very impressive. That, that is so impressive. And as you can see, folks, Kyle is with us here today. It is so nice to meet you. I have to tell you, I was so impressed when I, when I heard about this story. Tell us about why you thought there was a need for this walk to stop. Well, you know, going to school every day and hearing about all these tragic instances, I mean, it's easy for everybody to say, let's do something. Mm -hmm. But when push came to shove, nothing ever really got done. And in ASB, everybody really wants to push for a better tomorrow. And I thought, it's time to take that step. It's time to make this journey. And you know what? If things fall apart along the way, that's fine because then we made our effort and we have hope for a better tomorrow. Well, you've, you've gotten off to a great start. Uh, what is the next step? What do you do to continue this? Well, I think it's very important that we just spread the word about youth suicide and suicide in general. Mm -hmm. And that's what our goal is for a walk to stop. And a walk to stop is going to continue every year. We're going to grow every year and every year it's going to be better. It's not just going to be hope for a better tomorrow. It's going to be hope for a better future. Well, now you've got maybe the biggest megaphone you've ever had. You've got a microphone here. You've got <laughs> lots of folks watching. Uh, what message do you have for kids who are struggling with, with things like bullying in school? Bullying is never easy for anyone. Uh, we all go through it. Everybody has a hard time. Some people have time harder than others. But what we all need to realize is that there's help. There's always help. No matter what your situation is, there's hotlines, there's youth help, there's guidance counselors, there's teachers, and there's parents. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be your parent. It can be anybody's parent. Yeah. And we're going to make a difference. Okay. We are. <laughs> Speak up and don't give up. Exactly. There you go. Exactly. Uh, now, now, don't sit down just yet. Okay. <laughs> uh, we have a little bit of a surprise for you. Uh, this is something, a very special uh, something from your classmates who are back home and, and are watching this right now. Uh, they have a message for you. Take a look. <laughs> hey guys <laughs> well you've obviously struck a chord with them and it looks like they've struck one with you as well oh what do you have to say to your friends i love you guys you guys are great you inspire me in every way oh and you inspired us kyle thank you, thank you so much for doing what you do <laughs> Congratulations, my Thank dear. You. Nice job. <laughs> no relation, but I wish we were. <laughs> now, let's hear it for the winners from the South. Here they are. From the Southern region in Florida. Coral Gables, Green Acre, Miami Lake, North Lauderdale, Sarasota County, St. Petersburg, Tampa and Hillsborough County, in Georgia, Cumming and Forsyth County, Houston County, Troop County, in Alabama, Mobile, Sylacauga, Tuscaloosa County, in Mississippi, Jackson, Pascagoula School District, in Tennessee, Nashville, in South Carolina, Charleston, Greenville County, Rock Hill, in North Carolina, Pitt County, in Virginia, Alexandria, Chesterfield County, Hanover County, Newport News, Prince William County, Surrey County. Uh -huh. <clears throat> wow. We've got, we've got some wonderful communities being represented today, but now let's take a look via Skype at the celebration in Pascagoula, Mississippi. Hey, Pascagoula. <laughs> there you go. Pascagoula's fired up today. Let's bring in Wayne Woldalfitch. He is the superintendent of the Pascagoula School District. Congratulations, superintendent. Uh, tell us now, what, what do you think made Pascagoula a winner this year? Uh, what do you think they asked you a uh, winner this year? 
I think we have the best kids in America right here at Pascagoula and go check this out. Well, that's short and sweet. Come on, you have to give us a bit more than that. And we know you, you have to say that. They're right behind you. <laughs> I, I can't really hear what you're saying. I'm just saying that we have the best children, the best community, the best industry support, the best community support, the best parents in the world are right here in Pascagoula, Mississippi. And we'd love for you to come down and see what we're doing for children. Well, we listen. appreciate being part of the program. Well, one thing... I'm sorry, I hate to cut you off, but one thing that we really want to hear more about uh, is, is this program you have to lower your dropout rate. It's called Destination Graduation. I think a lot of people around the country would like to know more about how that works. Tell us about that effort. Destination Graduation. I think a lot of people around the country would like to know more about how that works. Tell us about that effort. Well, beginning at pre-kindergarten, we are working to make sure every child has an opportunity and no one falls through the cracks. We have an early childhood center. We have a family interactive center. We do Super Saturdays. We go do home visits all the time. Uh, there's just a lot of people wrapping around children here, and we want to make sure every child has an opportunity for success. Well, we are so glad to have a chance to congratulate you for doing something that's making such a big difference. Superintendent, thank you so much. And congratulations, Pascagoula. <laughs> Now, of course, the, the 100 best communities competition wouldn't be possible without the generous support of ING US. You know, every year ING contributes to worthy charitable causes, especially in the areas of K through 12 education, financial education, and physical education. Here now to tell us more about that, please welcome Rhonda Mims, president of the ING Foundation. Well, thanks, Leon. Uh, first and foremost, I want to congratulate all of this year's 100 Best Communities, each of you has shown that the good that can come from helping young people to achieve their full potential. I'm proud to be here today on behalf of ING US CEO, Rod Martin, and more than 7,000 colleagues of mine across the nation. At ING US, we believe that the only way to do good and do well is by doing good. Our commitment to the 100 Best Competition is a reflection of just that. As a business, ING US has an interest in making sure America has a workforce that is prepared to compete in the new global economy. We believe the best way to do that is by supporting education and youth development programs. Here's something to consider. If we had just kept half of last year's dropouts in school, we could have created as many as 54,000 new jobs and added $9.6 billion to the economy. Investing in our children is investing in the future of America. The good news is that all of you, the 100 best, are investing in your young people by working together, by making the success of young people a priority. You're giving them the best shot at a bright future. Research shows that when young people experience the five promises, they are more likely to graduate high school, obtain well-paying jobs, and become productive members of their communities. But more important than research, your experiences show us that when a community commits to making the five promises a reality, anything is possible. We at ING US, thank you for doing this important work. Like us, you understand the power of thriving to be and achieve a brighter future. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you, Ron, and thanks to ING. Now, Let's unveil our final group of 2012 winners. Here now, the winners from the Northeast. From the Northeast region, in Maryland, Calvert County, Salisbury and Wicomico County, Washington County, in Delaware, Wilmington, in Pennsylvania, Abington School District, Council Rock, Indiana County, in New Jersey, Bergenfield School District, in New York, Amherst, New York City, Orange County, White Plains, in Connecticut, Hamden, Norwalk, Waterbury, in Rhode Island, Providence, in Massachusetts, Bedford, Braintree, K 
Cambridge, Dedham, Fall River, New Bedford, in New Hampshire, Dover. <laughs> oh, just love that. All those red dots on the map getting it done. Now, let's go live to Norwalk, Connecticut, where they are celebrating their win for the third time. <laughs> Way to go, folks. Let's bring in Suzanne Koroshetz, who's principal at Brian McMahon High School there, and Tony Dodona, superintendent of Norwalk Public Schools. Uh, listen, I don't think Pat Riley would get upset with you calling this a three-peat. Uh, way to go. <laughs> Three wins in a row. You've got to be excited about that. We're, we're totally excited about that. All of our students are excited about that. And, and the reason for that is that in Norwalk, we're a community. We're a community of learners. And uh, we believe that every student who leads Norwalk Public Schools should be ready for college. And, only to, and the only way we can do that is if we have community support and we work together in a collaborative way. Well, how has being a winner now three times in a row, how has that helped your community? Can you tell us about that? It, it provides many programs for our students, our after-school programs, so that our students have a, a continuation from when they come into school, both academic and social. We have uh, community centers that our students attend so that we continue what they are doing in school. It is a way for, our, uh, for us to acknowledge our partners and also to acknowledge how great the kids here are in Norwalk. That they are important to all of us, to the community, both inside school people and our partners. And it's a way to, for them to shine as well as our community to shine. Well, you, men you mentioned the, 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 uh, the youth there, the kids there, Suzanne. Tell us about the Center for Youth Leadership and, and some of the projects they're working on there. <laughs> I'm not sure. did, did, did you catch the question there, Suzanne? I'd like to hear more about uh, the, the, the center there that you have for youth leadership and some of the projects you're working on there. The CGS, the Center for Global Studies, is a magnet school within our school here at Brian McMahon. It gives students from districts around Norwalk an opportunity to study Chinese, Japanese, and Arabic as well as an integrate among all the other great programs we have at McMahon, and then to participate in our after-school program. So it's a way to have children be involved in languages that are obviously very global and cutting edge, as well as continuing and can, uh, making our own community here at Brian McMahon that much more diverse. All right, well, congratulations, and keep on up with the good work there. Suzanne and Tony, uh, thank you so much, and uh, hey, go for four. We'll see you next time. <laughs> All right. How about that? We're talking about some very, very impressive people there. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, those are your 100 best communities for 2012. Now, let's learn more about this year's special winner in dropout prevention, coming to us from St. Petersburg, Florida. Take a look. The Doorway Scholarship Program has been in existence for 10 years, and as the name implies, it's an opportunity for education after high school. The opportunity requirements for these young people, um, they have to be bright, they have to remain crime-free, drug-free, and they have to be economically challenged. My name is Terrell Jones. I attended Lakewood High School. I graduated valedictorian, and I was a student athlete. I know my mom is like the richest lady in the world or whatever, so when Doeweez asked me that I wanted to be a part of their program, I was excited and I knew I had a, the first step of paying tuition. Uh, I will be attending the University of Central Florida. My goal is to major in biology. I somehow want to save the environment, keep it clean. I know a lot of companies are going green and I want to help keep the earth around a little bit longer than it seemed like it might be. My mentor, Mr. Corey McDaniel, is a really cool guy. I've known him for about two years now, and even though he thinks that he doesn't help me out that much, 
he's prepared me in a way that has made me ready for the next step. When we first started out, he was uh, struggling with uh, time management. I think he had so many irons in the fire, and he did, you know, he's just wondering which way to go sometimes. It definitely opened my eyes to what uh, younger people are going through today. I'll be going to the University of Miami, and I'll be majoring in health science with a minor in political science. It's all about giving these very bright, beautiful young people with great minds this opportunity to come back educated uh, to serve the community. And it's going to pay dividends well into the future. And Lori Matway from the St. Petersburg Mayor's Office is here with us in studio today. Lori, good to see you. Thanks, Leon. It's good to be here. This is some fantastic work you're doing. I'm never, I never cease to be amazed at, at the magic that happens when an adult steps into a, a kid's life. But you also have got to get the parents involved. And that's what you've been able to do at Doorways. Tell us how that worked. Absolutely. Doorways program requires the parents to be involved in the scholarship from sixth grade on throughout their college careers. So we make the commitment to the parent and to the student to say, we care about your child. We're going to do everything in our power to make sure they graduate. Mm -hmm. But what are you going to do? You're going to make sure that they get to school on time, that their grades are good, that they're prepared every day. And that's the parent's job to help us make their children successful. Is that a hard sell to get parents to do that? Because, you know, we talk all the time about how busy life is for everyone these days. Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. Mayor Foster will tell you the best day of his career is when we do what we call signing day. And on signing day, the parents come with their children and we award that scholarship in sixth grade. It's the children are excited, but it's the faces of the parents that's probably the most touching yeah. because they know their children will have an opportunity to do something they probably didn't get to do to go to college and come back to yeah. St. Pete and join our workforce. Yeah, and change the community when they Absolutely. come back. Absolutely. Well, listen, I, there are lots of cities around the country, I'm sure, that would like to do the same sort of thing, especially looking at the results that you're getting. What advice would you have for someone from another city that may be trying to do something like Doorways? Get started. Find your partners. We have a uh, Pinellas Education Foundation that matches every dollar that I raise privately. They match it. And then our state matches that. So it's a, a threefold match. It's, it's made such a difference. Our community is committed to this program. Why? Because we have a 93% graduation rate for five years in a row. That's fantastic. Way to go. Congratulations. Thank you, Lori. Thank you for what you're doing. What a great example that you've set for other cities across the country. All right. And now with that, we have something special for you now. Uh, although he couldn't be here with us today, General Colin Powell, the founding chair of America's Promise, wanted to share his congratulations to all of you, and he sent along this video message. I wish I could be there with all of you today to celebrate the great work you're doing across the country for our young people. You know, my wife Alma and I believe that there is no more important work we can do as individuals, as Americans, and as you've demonstrated so successfully today as communities, than to support our children and youth. I share the same spirit of pride as you and everyone at the America's Promise Alliance. Congratulations on being selected as the 100 best communities in America for young people. I don't need to tell you that our nation and today's youth face many challenges. And while we try to adjust as the world changes rapidly around us, one thing that remains as true today as it was for me as a child is that every young person needs the five promises. Those simple but essential resources, caring adults, safe places, a healthy start, an effective education, and opportunities to help others. Our young people need us. They need their parents, their teachers, local businesses, policymakers, the entire community to encourage, guide, and support them. The 100 best winning communities recognize this and are working tirelessly to ensure their young people have all the support necessary to be healthy, achieve academically, and succeed in life. The 100 best competition presented by ING honors communities of all sizes and geographic locations that are making progress to help young people achieve their potential, which to us includes earning a high school diploma, securing a good job, and giving back to their communities and to their country. Before this competition, the country didn't have a formal recognition program to celebrate how communities support our youth. 
At America's Promise, we know how important the community's role is in influencing a child. Since 2005, we've recognized communities around the country for their innovative and effective ways of meeting our young people's needs. The 100 Best Competition is also part of our Grad Nation campaign, a large and growing movement of dedicated individuals, organizations, and communities working together to end the dropout crisis. This year's 100 Best was our most competitive in history. More than 320 communities from all 50 states, the District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, and the U.S. Virgin Islands were nominated for the title. We're glad to welcome 18 communities winning for the first time ever, and welcome back 19 communities winning for the sixth time. Of the 100 communities, we're glad to further recognize two this year, Battleground and St. Pete. Battleground Washington is home to Kyle Harris, our 100 Best Scholarship winner, who organized a walk to stop in her community to help raise awareness about youth suicide and inform young people of where to seek help if they are experiencing difficulty in life. The Dropout Prevention Program winner can be found in St. Petersburg, Florida. There, Doorways Scholarships provide financial means for economically disadvantaged youth to pursue higher education and also supply mentors to work with scholarship recipients. Thanks to you all for your individual and collective efforts to make youth a priority and for the programs and initiatives that keep kids in school and raise graduation rates. Your example is something we want to share with the nation and in turn inspire other communities to follow your lead. Because in the end, for our nation to remain the land of opportunity, all of our communities must be the best for young people. Congratulations again on being one of the 100 best and continue to keep America's promise to our young people. That is high praise indeed. And we're joined now by America's Promise Alliance President and CEO, John Gompertz. John, this is your first time at the helm of the 100 Best, and I know you wanted to share some thoughts. Absolutely. Thanks, Leon, for hosting us here today. Um, and all of us are extraordinarily proud to recognize this year's winners. You, or, you communities are putting young people at the center of your agenda. You're working hard to give young people the best shot at a bright future, and you're committed to doing that work together. I'm proud that so many communities across the nation have joined our effort uh, through the Grad Nation campaign to end the national dropout crisis and to give ch kids a chance to succeed. And for those communities who aren't yet part of this work, we need you to join us. Let the stories of these 100 best communities be your inspiration. Thank you, and congratulations once again to all the winners. We're honored to be able to tell your stories. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. All right. Now, before we go, let's take a quick look at what you're saying online about all of this. We're getting lots of excitement out there from our winners on Twitter. Take a look here. Let's see. We've got uh, from Kara Marks, or Kansas City Schools named 100 Best for Young People. Lots of very excited admins and city officials there. Um, Crystal Chatham, uh, Indio, just named in 100 Best Communities for Young People. Uh, an announcement made at Madison Elementary. Way to go there, folks. Uh, Kansas City, once again, checking in with David Smith. And uh, Melissa Ferris, Boys Town, named one of America's best communities. Awesome. Absolutely. All of you are awesome. Now, again, be sure and join the conversation with us online using hashtag pound 100 best 2012, or you can join us on Facebook. Just search America's Promise Alliance. Thanks to our studio audience with us today and the many winners out there who joined us in person. That'll do it for us here at the Museum in Washington. Congratulations once again to all of our winners. I'm Leon Harris. Thank you for watching. <laughs> How about that? Way to go, guys.